when the enemy can't antagonize you, he will use the ones closest to you. And I'm going to break it down to this in this video. The devil, aka the enemy, is very busy. Because when the devil is trying to antagonize you for a whole lot of reasons, that means the devil is a terrified, excuse me, terrified of your strength. That's why they say, these do not break into empty houses. Robbers will not want to rob you if you don't have nothing. If you didn't have nothing, the enemy will not be bothering you. But guess what? You might not have no lot of money, materialistic things or none of that, but the enemy wants something. And that's something inside of you. He wants your courage. He wants your strength. He wants your mind. He wants your soul. But he can't get it or he can't attack you. He going to use the ones that is closest to you. This is why you got people lashing out at you for no apparent reason. That's why your so-called best friend that turned their back on you because the devil had jumped inside of them to try to antagonize you. And you question yourself, what I do to deserve this? Why are they jumping out at me like that? It's not them. It's the enemy. The enemy wants your strength. He wants your confidence. He wants your confidence. But guess what? He ain't going to get it because you know why? You're not going to let the enemy get in your head. When it seems like it's one thing, it's another. You're feeling all these negative thoughts inside your head. That's the devil trying to attack you. And we all human. We all going to get them thoughts. Every single now and then. But guess what? We know how to block it off. And every day is not going to be a good day. Let me be honest with you. Every day ain't going to be sunshine and rainbows. None of that. Some days you're going to have your rainy days, your stormy days. Just like the river. It ain't going to be sunny every day. Every now and then it might be a little rain, storm or whatever. But guess what? The storm don't last forever. But when these people coming out, lashing at you, mad at you for no pair of reason, don't want to speak to you for no pair of reason, it's the devil. These people got the devil on their back. And when they snap here, try to antagonize you for all these many reasons, because you got something that they want. And you asking yourself, well, why me? I ain't got nothing. That's what you asking yourself. I don't drive the fancy car. I don't live in a mansion. I ain't trying to keep up with the Joneses or keeping up with the Kardashians. You asking yourself this. Like, why? These people see something that they wish they had inside of them. That's why they look at you with them dirty stares. That's why they look at you all me mugging. Turning their nose up. You name it. People are literally snitching on themselves. They want to be just like you. The devil is busy, y'all. I'm telling you. Every day, as they will say, it ain't one thing, it's another. You're going to constantly fight battles. Yes, I know you're tired. Yes, I know you're getting tired of spiritual fighting, but guess what? This is a spiritual Warfare that's going on that we all face in today. If you don't understand where I'm coming from, this video is not for you. But I'm talking to the people that understand me right now. This video is for y'all. Because so many of you have been attacked recently or probably all your life. But remember, Miss Silly from the movie Color Purple. All your life you had to fight. That's what make you a warrior. Why do you think I call myself a warrior for a reason? Hmm? We all going through it, ladies and gentlemen. Spiritual warfare. The devil trying to attack you. Trying to attack your finances. Trying to get in your head. Even trying to attack the ones that's closest to you. But they small enough to not to let the devil get in here. Then they good, but they sit up here let the devil creep in their head. And that's attack you for no apparent reason then that's your answer right there ain't nobody mad but the devil 
this world we in right now is full of wickedness. Y'all see what's going on. People unaliving one another. People mad at other people for no pair of reason. Like, what's the problem here? But see, the enemy wants to get in your head. He wants your mind. He wants your soul. But you are a threat to the king of darkness. Satan is a terrified of you. He intimidated by you. Why do you think every time you get around certain people, you intimidate their demons? Because they see the God of light inside of you. And these spirits, or shall I say the creatures of the night, they want to intimidate you, but no. You ain't scared of nothing. You ain't scared of nobody or anything. That's why people don't want to get close to you. That's why people are scared to say something to you. They look at you like you're some type of threat or something. But you just be minding your business. But at the same time, they are spiritually attacking you behind your back. And guess what? No weapon formed against you shall not prosper. They want to sit up here and play with this voodoo black magic. Wishing bad luck upon you. Wishing on your demise. Wishing something bad happened to you. But they better be careful. Because they might not hurt. The tongue could be a mighty sword. That's like a pen. Could be a mighty sword too now. But the tongue. That's the most dangerous sword ever. That's why they said. Be careful what you say. Not only that. Be careful what you think of. Because thoughts can't become reality. The words coming out your mouth can come reality too. So when these people wishing bad on you, hey, God got you covered. When they try, when they sit up here trying to attack you, guess what? You're already covered because God got your back. Even when you was a baby, the enemy tried to antagonize you. Excuse me. He tried to attack you. But ever since y'all was... Ever since y'all was a little babies, y'all been covered. Just remember, these don't break into empty houses. The enemy is trying to get inside of your house, aka your mind. He want this. But as soon as he get this, he got the soul. And you're done. But being the smart person that you is, and mentally strong that you is, he ain't gonna get it. He ain't never gonna get it. Like air vote. He ain't never, ever, ever, never, never going to get it. The devil that's sitting there wasting his time trying to mess with y'all. The devil should be extremely tired. That's why he got to send his minions to do the job for him, to do his dirty work. Even they couldn't get the job done because you're too mentally strong. You got God on your side. And on top of that, your ancestors, they on your side. They know not to mess with you because your ancestors and the creator got your back. That's why your so-called friends is turning on you. Your fake friends is turning on you. That's why that boyfriend, he acting funny. He acting boagey or ratchy. That's why that girl you got, she acting all silly. Acting all emotional. The devil is getting inside these people, ladies and gentlemen. If all of a sudden somebody want to start an argument with you, that's the enemy right there. If your girlfriend trying to start an argument for no apparent reason, it's the devil. It ain't not being emotional because remember, women are emotional creatures. But guess what? If you got a girlfriend, fellas, and she's trying, and she's trying to start an argument with you, or she starts showing this narcissistic behavior. It's the enemy. Same thing with you too, ladies. If he acting all bougie, he and his feelings, the enemy. The enemy. It's the trick of the enemy. The people, the ones that's closest to you, the people that's close to you, they be the main ones you got to watch out for. That's why they say, beware of the covenant that you keep. 
Because so many people can pretend so long. But as soon as you reach a higher level, a higher frequency, they're going to start acting funny. When the enemy can't get to you, he will get the ones closest to you. So my advice to you all, and this video will be uploaded Thursday, so I'm telling you all right now, be careful of the company that you keep. Do not be ashamed to walk alone. But when you're walking alone, God going to place the right people in your life. But get away from these folks that's trying to send a spiritual attack near your way. But don't even worry about that because, like I said, you're already covered. God had your back since day one. The enemy, these people, they can't do nothing to you. They know better. When I say they know better, they know better. So let them sit there and try to play their little wicked mind games on you. That is going to mess their head up. But at the end of the day, anybody that's trying to attack you, that's remember this. They are attacking themselves.